Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 11 to April 17, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's get started. Let's see your energy for the week. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Leo in regards to love for this week. We have eight of wands, four of pentacles in reverse, seven of cups, page of swords, wheel of fortune in reverse. All right, let's look at this card that um, flew out of the deck. It's the Eight of Cups. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have Fool in reverse. I feel like there's a little bit of a question here of, of, is this really over? That's what I'm feeling. Is this really over? Some of you are having a hard time believing that something is really over. There's confusion in the air. There's, there's still like a lack of clarity, there's questions, there's insecurities, or doubts. Eight of Cups is here, I'm not sure if this is you, somebody walked away, would that be you or your person? Tell me about the Eight of Cups spirit. The Emperor, Four of Swords in Reverse. I'm not sure who walked away. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be playing a guessing game here, so let's just ask. Spare, what actions did this person take towards Leo, please? Okay, let's take a look. What actions did this person take towards you? Six of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel uh, an energy of guilt with this person, Leo. There's something that they feel guilty about. I'm not sure what. Mm. 
I kind of want to say that it's you who walked away, Leo. You might be different um, for other for other Leos, um, but I feel like for a big group of Leos, it was you who walked away. I feel like with the Emperor, you walked away because you needed to respect your self-worth. Yeah, you needed to respect your self-worth with this person. You, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't keep allowing them to play games with you because I feel like this person feels guilty about something. I feel like they have a guilty conscience. However, I do feel with the Page of Swords that this is your energy kind of looking over your shoulder. Um, with the Seven of Cups, even if you did walk away, like, the emotions are still there, the attachment is still there, and there's still this energy of confusion of, you know, is this really, like, permanently over, like, um, is there really no solution, or, you know, is this really how things are going to end between us, I think you're holding on to, to a certain, like, hope or faith, that maybe things might turn around with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, might turn around in your favor, because things have not been going in your favor. But it's like you don't you don't want to. It's like you don't want to fully give up, you know. You don't want to fully give up yet. There's still. There's still love, with the lovers and the strength card. There's still love, there's still um, care, there's still an attraction there, a connection. This could be a soulmate, a twin flame, a karmic partner with the lovers here. And you are hurt with the Five of Cups. You are feeling... Um, you are feeling the loss. With the Page of Cups, I kind of feel like it's like you just want to know that this person cares, that this person um, values you, respects you. Because some of you have been feeling um, like you've been taken for granted by this person. All right, I think I'm finished with your energy, Leo. Let's move on to whoever you're dealing with. This Eight of Wands is a little weird. Let me just look at that real quick. Tell me about that Eight of Wands spirit. The King of Cups reverse, Queen of Cups upright. You've been resisting communication from this person. Uh, I think that's this is your desire, though. Eight of Wands, Leo, this is your desire. Like, there's a lot of desire that you have for this person. But I do feel like you've been holding yourself back. Like, you've been resisting the temptation, basically. All right, let's look at your person. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Let's take a look. First card we have is the Ten of Cups. Wow. 
King of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Swords. Two of Wands in reverse, Empress in reverse, Ace of Swords. At the bottom, Ace of Wands. The Ten of Cups is here, so I definitely um, feel like this is someone who wants a happily ever after with you. Yeah, I do feel like they want that. Yeah. I don't feel like they're demonstrating that. I don't feel like their actions or their words are um, reflecting what they truly want with you because I feel like there's a deceptive energy here connected to them there's like lies I feel like there's an energy of lies lies and deception or shadiness a little bit what's um actually no let me look at the rest of the cards Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I'm also sensing self-sabotage. I feel like this is a relationship that they really care about with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands. They really care about you. They feel a lot of love for you. There's a lot of passion here with the Ace of Wands. This is someone who wants to reignite the, the flames of love with you feels kind of romantic but I feel like there's a little bit of a victim mode energy connected to them as well I feel like this is someone who likes to play the victim who likes to portray themselves as the victim temperance world queen of pentacles in reverse They're unavailable. I'm not sure why they're unavailable, but they are unavailable here. Um, but I feel like it's their choice, though. With the Empress in reverse, you know, I feel like it's their choice to, to be unavailable. It's their free will, you know. Um, Nobody's forcing them to be unavailable. They're choosing to be unavailable. Because I feel like this person has a poor, poor mentality, you know? And there's a, they, they have like a low self-esteem also. Self-esteem issues here connected to them. They, they, they think of themselves as trapped when that's not the case at all they're not really trapped it's their mind that's um, making them feel that way it's all in their mind yeah high priestess ten of swords in reverse and the hermit card Tell me more about the um, Seven of Swords spirit. Let's see what's going on with the Seven of Swords. King of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles. They're definitely scared of something and I feel like there's trust issues here. They're, they're having a hard time believing in this In this fairy tale that they've envisioned. Not all fairy tales are impossible, you know. Sometimes it is something that you can actually have, you know. This perfect, you know, happy, happy, harmonious, stable life. Because I feel like that's what they want. They want this happy 
harmonious, stable life, but they think that it's not attainable. They think it's just, you know, a, like a fantasy. But, you know, some fantasies are actually attainable. They Some fantasies will or can actually manifest. They're not they're not all impossible dreams. I feel like that's what this person um, needs to understand, you know. I feel like they're too critical, they're too pessimistic. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is someone who's not putting in any work or effort into this connection or relationship with you. They're just kind of being very defeated here in an energy of defeat. Yeah, and it's like they're they're definitely obsessed with you, Leo. I get that they're really obsessed with you. They emotionally are very like um attached to you. What's the ace of swords? The magician in reverse and the moon in reverse. It's like they don't want to be open with you. They don't want to tell you the truth about something. They keep hiding things from you, and I feel like, I think things would work out if they would open up to you and be honest with you. I don't feel like it's as bad as they think it's going to be. I think this person is scared to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth about something. They think it's going to be bad, but I really don't think it's going to be that bad. I feel like they need to trust you a little bit more. They're, they're assuming the worst. They're assuming the worst from you. And that's not the case. Leos are actually very um, understanding people. And I feel like you would be you would be understanding with them. But, you know, it's it's the respect factor, you know. That's what's... That's what the issue here is. It's the, it's the lack of respect, you know. Because when you're, like, being deceptive and you're being sneaky and you're lying or... Um, that's not gonna work out. Not, not with a Leo, at least. I think, you know, like er and anything can be resolved with a Leo, but you need to be honest. Like I said, I feel like this person is thinking the worst of you and I feel like they're wrong. Because I looked at your energy and I feel like um, you're open to this person. You're open to working with this person. But this person just is is too consumed in their own negative thoughts, you know. Okay. Yeah, this is this is someone who definitely desires a second chance with you also. Judgment in reverse, five of swords in reverse. All right, I'm going to continue in the extended. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see um, what are their real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me in, in the extended. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.